It was 2005, 2006 that we started collecting. I, I saw these images online and thought, all right, how do I go about purchasing them? And you know, I'm a pretty tenacious type of person. I got to, I got to find out who represented Banksy, got to know them. We couldn't afford it without selling the car, so we sold the car and we were fortunate enough to, to be invited to the preview of the 2006 show where he famously painted an elephant that looked like flop wallpaper. Found ourselves at this amazing party, um, standing next to Brad and Angelina while they were deciding what, to, what banks they wanted to have on their walls. I think what sets Banksy apart from anyone else really is this unerring ability that he's got to encapsulate in what appears to be a very simple image what many of us feel about a very complex issue. If someone asked you, explain to me in detail how you feel about this, rather than talking about it for 10 minutes, you could just hold up a Banksy piece of artwork and that would do the job for you. the placement of his street work is always of importance and utmost importance to him and very often in subtle ways that you know you almost have to uncover the story to know why that piece is actually placed where it is like going to the other side of the Palestinian wall and putting a great big um, image of a guy rioting throwing a bunch of flowers that's something which most of us could get what he's what he's driving at there looking around and seeing what, seeing what the Everfresh guys are doing here, looking at what Lister's doing, kid Zoom stuff. There's so much going on here on the outpost that, you know, I think there's something here that will appeal to everybody. We're fortunate to be, to be experiencing it and living in these times. Mm -hmm.